time game. Um, I think as a team, though, one of our goals is to not make it bigger than it is, you know, uh, focus on us, um, correct things from Georgia Southern, and, you know, prepare the way we know how to prepare. Um, it's a lot of hype going into the game, very much so. It's well-deserved, but we got to do what we do and play LSU football. It's uh, more of a block out the noise kind of moment than ever? Oh, yeah. Uh, every week's block out the noise, you know, uh, good, bad, or indifferent. So we just got to stay level-headed and, you know, prepare to play a four-quarter game. Is it I'm, different now that you're blocking out positive noise as opposed to second-guessing? Um, a little bit, uh, but uh, any type of noise we get, uh, we see it sometimes, but we just try to focus on us and in between the white lines, you know, because film doesn't lie. You know, we have things that we have to get better on each and every day, and we're just trying to – get better on that. What do you see in their offense? Uh, they want to spread the ball out, uh, kind of wear you down as a defensive lineman. Uh, so we're going to rotate a lot, uh, get guys in and out, uh, and rush the pass. You know, they want to kind of go side to side, do different things, and then kind of run downhill on you. So we're just going to stay fresh, and uh, we'll have a good game plan for them. Talk about correcting. Familiar. It sounds kind of like what you see at practice. Yeah, very much so. Uh, it's a similar offense, definitely a similar offense. Uh, so I think our scout, our offense didn't have to really do much, you know, looking at cards or anything. You know, it's kind of similar. You talk about correcting. How much did you guys have to do defensively to correct from that game Saturday? Uh, a lot. You'd be surprised. Uh, with Coach O, he's all about the details. Um, and Coach Miranda and Coach Johnson and all defensive line coaches and all the coaches, they're very particular about everything we do. Uh, there's always something that we can get better at no matter what the circumstances is. What do you see in Ellinger? Uh, tough guy, very tough guy. Uh, he had great moments last year. Uh, he came out very hot la last week, so we're going to have to try to cool him down, you know, keep him contained, uh, get after him when the time comes to, and just stay in our rush lanes and collapse the pocket. Is this a rush to the level of the quarterback kind of game? Or? Uh, we'll have to see. We're still installing game plan. Uh, we're going to do some different things, so give him different looks, mix and match. And, Really, just try to give them some different things. How, be how much better, I guess, is it for you now that you do have some depth along the uh, defensive line? You have some tackles that can play a big number of minutes. Do you see a noticeable change? Uh, very much so. I think there's never enough people to have on defensive line. Uh, we got to constantly rotate, especially with how the offenses are, and even our offense. You know, we get to see a tempo look every day in practice. So it's nothing that you know, week in and week out, we're not used to seeing. So it's definitely helpful to have guys that can go in and out. I see you're, you're sweating. It's going to be super hot in Texas. Yeah. I mean, is that something you got to kind of prepare for now? Uh, Yeah, we've been practicing in the heat every day, though. Uh, so uh, we'll be used to it, definitely. You just got to hydrate, though. That's the biggest key. How much does it help just going against your own offense every day with that same style? Um, It helps a little bit, but it's a different offense, different personnel, different – type of schemes in certain ways. So we're going to have to adjust to what they do. Um, you know, it's good to see different things in practice, but until we get maybe in the first couple of drives, we're going to have to get used to their personnel and how they play. You guys, any talks about, you know, their running back group is kind of small right now. You've had any you know talks in the D-line group, especially about how to deal with just those two to, you know, wear them down and get some of the non-backs in there? Uh, not really. We're kind of, we're really focusing on us. Um, they're going to have guys regardless of numbers, they're going to have guys to put out there, four and five star guys, highly recruited guys. So regardless of who they put out there, we're going to have to perform. Coach talked about how uh, sure. on Monday you guys weren't. <laughs> uh, but he talked about how on Monday you guys during the film session weren't super giddy despite playing so well on Saturday. What about this team kind of leads it, uh, lends itself to, you know, behave that way after really dominating? Um, well, we're just hungry, man. We're trying to do great things this year and take it a day at a time. Uh, there's never a perfect game, regardless of the score, regardless of how bad you beat an opponent or how bad an opponent beats you. There's never a perfect game. There's never going to always be situations where you can get better. So we're going to constantly work on us and get better no matter the circumstances. How exciting is this? This is the first top 10 matchup on the road at True Road site in uh, 50 years. It's very exciting. It's, uh, it's going to be a big time game. ABC, 6.30, it's going to be a lot of fun. Sharvin, you're, when you guys' offense was really clicking and really going during fall practice, what was the most frustrating part about trying to defend them? Uh, a lot of different
different things. And I can go on and on talking about the offense. They're going a lot of things well. And, um, you know, as a defensive lineman, having to deal with the offensive line is, is a lot, you know, with them spreading the ball out, us having to get to the ball and so many different things. It's just tough. And uh, when they're clicking, they're really good. Is there, are there a lot of guys on defense who aren't used to seeing that speed and that kind of tempo and that spacing? Uh, not really. We see it week in and week out in the SEC and with different opponents. So um, it's just good to go against them every day because it's going to make us better. After the game on Saturday, were you like, yes, like this is this is exactly what we hoped it would be kind of thing? Uh, yeah, we prepared very well for Georgia Southern. We got a bonus week to prepare for the triple option, which was very beneficial for us. So for it to go as smooth as it did, it definitely felt good. But as far as the offense and the way they were able to move the ball, every – you know, around here, it's always, yeah, the offense is going to change, the offense is going to change. It finally changed. Oh, yeah. Uh, the offense, we saw it all every day in practice. So we knew they were going to do great things and continue to do great things. Mark, playing in the SEC, time. you guys obviously see top ten opponents every single season. Does that help you keep this game from getting larger than life? For sure, for sure. Uh, at the end of the day, it's going to be about LSU and the fundamentals. We can put as much hype into the game as we want to, but if you don't execute on the little things, you're going to get beat no matter who you're playing. So it's definitely good to have so many teams in the SEC week in and week out with top 25 matchups to you know, not make it bigger than it is. That said, is there anything on tape that stands out that maybe a Big 12 team does that maybe an SEC team doesn't? It, it, just little intricacies that stand out at all? Well, I think – in a way, yeah, the speed. They like to really spread it out. And we see that in the SEC. But I think with this Texas team, they really, you know, like to use their matchups and use speed more than, you know, you see on a week in and week out basis. You know, we have different teams in the SEC that want to pound you and pound you. And they do that too, but they really want to get you on the edges and make you run. So I think that's kind of how Big 12 football is. Thanks, Chuck. Thank you, Chuck.